friends, do you all have a vote? With every human being, whoever takes a breath in this diversified globe has a vote. Good evening, Captain Toastmasters and Captain Guests. Well, I have a vote too. Could you all give me a cheer if we all within the room have a goal or a dream or a vision to die for? That's beautiful, really appreciate. Friends, as per a survey, 92% of people lose their path within 15 days from the time of goal setting. 15 days. Let me share a story with you all which changed the course of history in the past and still resonates with us in the 21st century. In the year 1519, Hernando Cortes, a conqueror, went with 11 boats, 15 horses, and 600 soldiers to an inland plateau that in today's world is known as Mexico. Their goal was to conquer an empire which kingdoms from the whole world has been eyeing with their blood-sucking eyes for the last 600 years. This empire possessed some of the world's greatest treasure, comprising of gold, silver, and precious Aztec jewels. While traveling towards their goal of conquering the Aztec Empire, there came a point when the soldiers of the truth started to generate a feeling of self-doubt within themselves. With just 600 men, most of whom were vastly undersupplied, the chances of them beating the vast Aztec Empire seemed like an impossible task. Hernando Cortes was well aware of this fact. As soon as they landed, the fear of being outnumbered by the opponent troop, Hernando Cortes took a different wing of approach. As soon as they landed on the Aztec Empire, the whole troop was gathered and Cortes roared, burn the boats. What burning the boats did, Hernando Cortes removed the possibility of retreat. Failure <laughs> was not an option now. By seeing the boats burning, with that smoke, there went away the exit strategy. Seeing that smoke spiral in the sky, shifting like ghosts in the breeze, the hunger and the desire within the soldiers came upon. There was only one option left, to become victorious or die. What the results are, the results more importantly speak for themselves. They came, they conquered. Friends, setting aside the hidden principles of Hernando Cortes' action out of the equation for a moment by burning the boats, let us see how many of us found ourselves in similar circumstances. To follow the path of the road less traveled, to accomplish the vision, it's so easy to see how many of us are having a fear of being outplanned and outgunned by the unknown ghost of future. Let me share a few boats which we possess within our soul. Boats of distraction. In this glossy world, of social media, it's easy to get distracted and lose our precious time, which doesn't place on activities, which doesn't lace any brick towards our long-term goal. Personally, I was uh, using a lot of, consuming a lot of time on social media, and currently I'm not on social media, any, any form of social media, and I'm saving almost two hours a day, 14 hours a week, 60 hours. Boats of safety net. Let me secure my future first. Then I will take a step towards my dream, my goal. Going through the safety net, cruising through life, never made anyone victorious. We all know legends like Warren Buffet or say take an entertainer like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was not the safety net which took them ahead of the normal crowd or the road less traveled. It was the risk, the knowledge of not failing and failing and getting up, which took them forward. Boat number three, boat of different plans. 
If plan A doesn't work, I'll go for plan B. If plan B doesn't work, so what? Plan C. How many plans? Time is precious. Boats of risk of boats of failure. Well, if someone fails, how far should could he fall? This is the ground man. How far can one fall? Even failing, every failing, failure would teach us something. Whereas passing around with just you know going ahead is not a learning experience. By these boats such as distractions, fear of failure, what I want to say is obstacles serve gracefully, evolve us to the strongest version of ourselves. Easy times, they don't make us better, they make us slower and sleepy. One thing that we could learn, Hernando Cortes, the conqueror, made it impossible to fail by burning the boats. And the result speaks that he did, in fact, succeed. My motive to you all is that let's inspire our soul and brain and evolve us to the strongest version of ourselves. And my invitation to you all is this. Let's explore our web, the web in here, and ask to pursue the goal or the dream or the vision that we all cheered for previously. What distractions and safety nets do we have to eliminate? What boats do we have to follow? Over to Prosnosu.